Good evening boys and girls, Naughty Michael has just been down and look what he's done, the Naughty Man, look at this. Can you see that hole? Where's it gone? See the hole? That was me, that. It was me. So we're taking out the, uh, a couple of the tomato plants, there's a super sweet 100 that I was moving and because uh, I was going to put them into mixed greenhouse and not only did I cut the flowers off when I was trimming the suckers out only about 20 uh, as I was lifting it out I poked the the cane through the top of the greenhouse. What a silly man. To hoots of derision and laughter. There's the hole. You might be able to see it. So we'll soon remedy that with that, which kind of spoils the aesthetic, aesthetic but fixes the whole issue. The first war wound. <laughs> what a silly sausage. Look at my old hands, look at the wrinkles on my old hands. Right. So if you, re if you remember from last night, I've not got my hat tonight either. If you remember from last night, we were, um, caging up um, they're in the fruit cage yesterday to keep the naughty birds off like him there he is dead centre and um, I said I'd have it finished tonight but unfortunately it's going to have to be a four part of this because I have run out of staples um, so I can't finish it off. I did get some more of that netting Which is quite tricky really to do the netting on your own because unless you get it like perfectly straight you get these kinks in it like that and um, The width of this is just two meters which this is round about two meters high uh, Or just under two meters high. It's about 190 high So you don't have a lot of play as you can see and unless you get it perfectly straight you get these issues Um where it just doesn't fit, you've got, to, you've got to stretch and twist and all kinds of stuff just to get it to fit properly and, uh, and seat itself. So obviously you're going to be thinking to yourselves, how are you going to get in there? Because it's all netted up. Well, that's going to be cut out. So we'll just snip that out and um, I'll continue on with that tomorrow. When I get some more staples, I'll pick some, up some, I'll pick some staples up tomorrow, uh, either from, uh, from Bob and Quentin's or from the handyman stores and um, I'll pick another full box because you do get through a lot of staples on these as well and a box of the staples which I think are the 12 milli staples the heavy duty ones galvanized ones they're um, they're about eight quid and I'll probably get through a couple maybe a box and a half on this so that's 12 pounds I'm going to give you a rundown actually now of the costs um, for the various builds that we've done because I've totted them all up. Now, what you need to build this is these two by ones, or the metric equivalent two by ones. Now, those are in, these are coming in uh, the 2.4 meters, those ones. You can get longer ones, but the rare to find, the standardly, the biggest one that, that you can pick up is a 2.4 meter. And uh, so on that, I have used 24 of those, yeah, for the uprights and for um, the roof on it. So yeah, there's 24 that I've used on that. And I needed probably another two, to be honest, because I've had to patch it up by using that four by one there. Which does give it a bit more strength, I'm guessing, uh, which is no bad thing. 
and I'm thinking that I may need to put a central support beam, uh, sorry, support column type of a fur going down there, which is probably going to be a, be a three by three or something like that. Uh, but I don't know how I'm going to get that in now because that's underneath it. But we'll see. I mean, it's all, all it's supporting in all intents and purposes is the netting, and the netting weighs bugger all. So it might well be all right. You know, it's pretty well braced anyway, that. Um, and obviously, because I didn't have the long enough length to do the full width or breadth, I've um, I put 45 degrees from there to there. Same on that side there to there. And then a, 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 um, another straight piece across to form the triangle of it. All right. I did that as well. I did that. If you can see that. I did that when I was putting it in and when I was pulling it, I pulled it with too much rigor and made an hole there. Uh, well, that's easily patched up. I can just zip tie some more onto that using little zip ties. Or I could even sort of sew that together with, um, with th thread, nylon thread. But that's, that's going to be sorted. It's not going to last forever, I don't think, but we'll see. It's an experiment on... Um, can't get the macro filming on that like CB does. Uh, on seeing how this will will stand up, really. Yeah, micro filament stuff. We've got to show you the packet for this of what we're using. All right, I'm giving a price rundown. Okay, these you will need. As I say, we'll need 24 or maybe a little bit more of those. Depends on the size of it. This is um, 18 feet. By 16 feet this um, actually it's not I'm telling lies it's 12 it's 18 feet by 12 what am I talking about what am I talking about it's 18 feet by 14 feet that. okay yeah 18 feet by 14 feet that right and um, so yeah, so these um, two by ones, you need four packs of them. They come in eight pack, eight per pack. You need four. You need three of those. God, I can't think straight at all today. What the hell is that? I've had a really bad hay fever. Ironically, today, terrible hay fever, and I don't gen generally get hay fever, but I have tonight. Um, snutching and grunting and all that carry on. And uh, anyway, so I'm digressing again. Yeah. And, they'll, and those are about eight quid a pack, um, and so that comes to 16, 24 quid for them. Your box of screws, and they will run you at the, what were they, they were 45s I think, and there was some 60s thrown in there as well, so half a box of each we'll call it, or half a box of the 60s, and um, yeah, he's probably talking about 12 quid's worth of screws. So that's uh, 36 pounds, and then you've got these, which are quite um, substantial. These are six by two, the base ones. And I got four, no, I didn't, I got six of those, which wasn't quite enough to do it. And uh, they were from Wigan Timber, and they ran for the Tantalized at, I believe I paid 32 quid. For six of them, so I might have got some screws as well. I'm not making a very good job of this. I'm a, I did. I got the screws as well. So that was that came to about twenty four pounds. That came to about twenty four pounds. That for six of them, uh, six by two. Um, so you're talking not much money really. The netting, the netting was what? I mean, I'm going to use three, probably four packs of the netting, which I'm going to show you now. Because I've got a bigger meterage one for the roof, for the roof of it, and then for the sides, it's going to take about three of these, which um, it's the garden net, ideal for protection of all crops, and that's six meters by two meters. So I'm probably going to need um, three of them to complete it, because the back end is going to be done with that stuff, the scaffold debris netting. The scaffold debris netting, I will probably need to use about eight quid's worth of that. 
and then these are only three pounds each so that's another nine pound so that's eight and nine is 15. no it's not <laughs> eight and nine is 17. so 17 pounds plus what did we say for that 24 so that's 34 that's 43 your two by ones came to probably around about 24 as well so 43 60 63 67 and the screws 80 quid maximum 80 pounds maximum for that and um, and there you go so if I'd have got one more length, actually, it would have been about £80. One more le length of the 6x2, which is what I really needed. And it would have been about £60 for that. So that's how much it will cost to complete it. I've already got the hinges. The hinges are not, like, you can get like uh, four hinges for two quid from Wigan Timber that are going to do the door on that side. I've decided I might not put e even need to put a door on the back because there'll be a, a, an avenue that goes through that so I can get to the back anyway so I might not need to put a door on that although my fickle mind may change on that one um, so yeah that is the fruit cage which is a big one okay by most people's estimations unless you're a Texan it's a big one um, overnight the um, spinach is bolted each one of these beds as I say, if you get the timbers from Wigan Timber, uh, the actual bed itself will cost you about 16 quid to do. And then you've got the netting, which is part of the um, scaffold debris netting that we got. The scaffold debris netting, if you were to buy it off the internet for the amount that we bought it, that we bought, um, would cost you about 30 quid. And you'd have half a roll left after doing all of this. In fact, you'd have that roll that's left there on top after doing all these netting up jobs. Um, so yeah, that would be 15 quid for the lot. So it's 15, say 15 quid for the timber, say three quid or whatever it is. I would say three quid for the netting. Those um, water pipes, mm, probably run you at about one pound each. And there's four of them. Okay. So you're talking 22, 22, 23 pounds, something like that. And then, and then you fill them all up with the soil and the soil will cost you some money to fill them up because that takes about uh, eight bags of 70 litres. And uh, you can get, mix the cheap stuff with the all right stuff from Asda. And you're probably talking about 24 quid, something like that. So all in all, it's, well, it's going to be 50 quid or something like that to get that done. 50 pounds, 50 pounds sterling for Majesty Sterling for each one of those six footers that are of that style. So 50 quid for that. For these ones, because you're using extra timber and using the hinges and such like, they're going to run you at probably about 75 to 80 pounds to do. And that's including the soil that's in there. Your timber's probably going to cost you around about 50 quid with your hinges and you can use those wooden fastenings for that. So you're talking about £80 for that to fill one of those and to get it looking like that. This, again, 2 by one construction. And then we have those baseboards there. The baseboards I got were 8 by one So those are 8 inches by 1 inch, uh, the baseboards for that. And I think that was about 16 quid for that one piece that did that. So again, £16 for that. Your 2 by 2 you just need one... You know, not even one length of um, 240 centimetre, 2.4 metre, 2 by 2 to put the staves in, the corner staves in. So that's going to be about three, four quid, about three quid. I'm telling you, about two quid. Okay, two pounds. Get your head straight, Tony, for God's sake, man. So 18 quid, the uprights, again, two by one. So you're talking. I use about three on that, I think, I believe. Because they were, um, yeah, I use three on that to do that. And they run at around about four quid a piece, so that's another 12 pounds. So you've got 12 pounds and 16 pounds, that comes to 28 pounds, and then about two quids worth of the two by two. We'll call it 30 quid, yeah, with the netting. 
and then you've got the soil that goes in there you've probably got about 12 pounds worth of soil that goes in there and some blood fishing bone same with that actually blood fishing bone get it cheap at the end of the season get it get it in winter time from b and q or somewhere like that you know giving it they're giving it away at that time of year which is what i did i got it in the beginning of january <coughs> um and this eight foot one just stick another another 20 quid on on that one so you're talking about a hundred quid for that to do that one and to fill that one because that's an eight footer and those are two six footers this cost me probably in the region of i would say another 50 quid um to do all that and that but that's without those um sort of metal cattley cage covers um so yeah i mean you could just put some netting over that you can go down to um, pound land and get clutch netting for like a quid you need two of them for that so yeah 50 pounds there that up there for the blueberries the blueberry bed is going to run you out i would i think i worked that out and it was quite expensive that because there was a lot of very cautious soil that we had to put in it there was about um 20 bags all told that went into that um and i think they were three four a tenner so yeah there was about there's about 60 or 70 quids worth of soil that's gone into that but it's a whopper it's four by four by two feet high that and it's a bit of a whopper and as you can see we're 10 inches off the top as it is but that'll give it some wind protection around the bases they're growing and coming on so that's fine that's all right we'll still get enough sun in there um but yeah so um it was about 60 or 70 pounds for the for the soil um the osb3 board was 18 pounds so we'll call it 80 quid altogether and then a bit of eating around the top the posts 85 86 quid less than 90 quid really for that one but the daddy of them all is this baby up here obviously the shed now the shed runs me now at about about 750 quid for the shed because there's a lot of materials gone into that shed which i can't list at the moment uh, but if you watch the videos uh, that we put up when we were doing the shed build then you'll see on the shed build that it's uh, becoming a bit of a beast but it's about 750 quids worth that altogether with the roofing the roofing was was uh, i probably spent about 150 quid getting that roof bang on and giving it loads and loads of layers of uh, water waterproofness and the base the probably ran me at about 100 quid as well so you're talking 250 quid for the top and the bottom and then whatever fills in the in between there yeah which goes about runs about 500 quid altogether with the locks and all the stuff that i bought for it and the glass the glass was free um yeah Sorry for the ramble, and I'm not on a come down at all, but um, I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't have the staples and I couldn't get that finished tonight, because I did promise Chris that I'd have that finished tonight. The first bamboo bee master! He's going to set his hordes, his swarms of bees are going to come for me, because I've, I've just lied to him. And not got it done. Mick was down before, but it was a flying visit. Again, he brought his sister and his missus came down as well. And... Um, so yeah, I'm going to be putting some of those savata plants into his greenhouse because they're outgrowing mine. Um, another another thing I'm a little bit disgruntled with myself about today is the shelves that I put into the greenhouse are fixed shelves. And really because the greenhouse is a small greenhouse, they're, they're, they're fixed too high. So they're not really suitable for the big climbing savato plants. I'm not going to end on a downer. We can't all be like, you know, giddy as kippers every single day, not even me. Because I, but I do annoy myself sometimes when I do things like that and I don't quite think things through. I'm a newbie, I suppose you can cut me a little bit of slack for that, but I would have liked it to be au fait and okay for those tomato plants. Um, but you live and learn. When I get that polytunnel on, which I will be doing, fingers crossed, if the wise old elves on uh, the Council of Elders give it the thumbs up then there'll be a polytunnel going on that's not going to be too dissimilar in size to mixed polytunnel i think his is a 16 but mine will be like a 14 foot 
Um, he's a 16 by 10, I think. Mine will probably be a 14 foot by 9. But that is going to be going on. As is another bed that's going in up at the top end there for the pumpkins. We've got two pumpkins uh, that we're going to start off this next week. There's all sorts of things that you've got to get done. And when you're a lunatic like me, are you I'm trying to get them all done at once. I've got to learn patience, boys and girls. I really do have to learn patience and restraint. Um, but you know what it's like? I mean, if you've got the bug, if you've got the sort of growing bug that I've got, it's difficult to sort of hold yourself back, especially if you've got a bit of money put to one side where you can actually, um, you know, invest it. It's just time. It's time. It is time that I don't have. Because I want it to be spot on. I want it to be right. But I'm starting to rush a little bit. Well, I'm not actually. I'm not rushing. But I'm beating myself up and I shouldn't be beating myself up because I am. Rub, rub me belly for me in the comments. Tell me I'm a good lad and I've done quite a lot of good work. I think I need a bit of a tickle. Tickle on the tongue. Either that or a, a Moroccan cig. A Moroccan cigarette. Which I do not know. I don't. I don't. Um, so yeah. It's all coming, coming along great guns. But I have to be a completer finisher. When I was assessed at work, I was my character was a completer finisher, which means I see projects through to the end and complete them, and don't sort of run off at a tangent. But I've found that I'm not, I'm not what I need to be. I am given the chance and given the time to devote to it, but um, at the moment I'm not a hundred percent a completer finisher. I get I get like the shed. That shed should have been completed, really. Um, but there's so many... As I said the other night, there are so many things to do on a plot like this. So, so many things to do. You never get bored, especially when you're starting out like myself. Uh, Mick was telling me the, uh, earlier that he was exactly the same. He was like a, a blue-bottomed fly. That first year, getting everything banged in, getting it all done. And... Um, so yeah, he said you're just, you're just constantly fanatical about it for the first year and then once things are established, um, Mick's not completed his as, as yet either. I was speaking to him about it again earlier. Uh, but once things are established, some of the guys that have been on here for a few years, he said they'd look after themselves more or less. He said you've just got to maintain it then and then tweak the odd little bits and pieces and, and concentrate on your, on your, your growing skills and your growing um, Press tricks and experimentation down the line. But um, at the start, there's a lot of work to do. And if you're like me, a bull at a gate, then you, uh, you sometimes get a little bit frustrated like I have tonight. And I apologise for that, boys and girls. Right, okay. Um, good seeing you all again. Thanks again for the support and the comments. If you like what we're doing, please comment. We love the comments. Like it and subscribe to it. And so you don't miss another episode, of which um, there are thousands. Um, hit the bell. Okay. But we like the likes as well. James loves the thumbs ups. He counts the thumbs ups on a daily basis. Um, so the more thumbs ups we get, the better. The more likes, the better. If you like it. If you don't like it, don't give us a thumbs down. I don't, I very rarely give thumbs down, me. Because things don't, especially like people who are trying to grow things, don't annoy me particularly. I might not particularly like what they're doing, but I don't, I don't see why people would give the thumbs down to it. But it's up to you. As I say, we're pouring into the week now, uh, back at work, and it's four more days to go until the weekend. So just do what you can do, crack on, have a wonderful evening, all the rest of it, and then we'll see you maybe tomorrow, maybe not. I want to get that, that cage finished before I show my face again on here, because Chris will set, he will unleash his swarms of bees, and um, that won't be pretty. That will not be pretty. Take care, and good night. I'll leave you with the cage. <laughs>